The inspiration for this conference was actually an experience of mine. Um, I spent a lot of the 1980s and 1990s working and living in Poland. Uh, and one of the things I came to realize there was that there were a, um, before the transition in Poland, before 1989, there were a number of Poles who were already talking about what kind of society they wanted to live in after a transition. And this was, was particularly economists. You know, they, they began to talk about privatization, they began to talk about uh, decentralizing a centralized economy, and they began this in the 80s when there was really no hope of change, um, and it looked like there would never be any change. Um, and so, uh, you know, nevertheless, because they'd begun planning and they'd begun talking, uh, the, when the change did come, which they hadn't predicted, uh, they were able to make good decisions, they were able to, they had, they had at least thought about the problems they were going to face. Uh, and in conversations with my Iranian friends, uh, I, you know, I began to ask, you know, is, are there Iranians also working on these kinds of problems? You know, what would you face after a transition? And I'm not advocating that there should be a particular kind of transition or there should be a revolution. Um, you know, there could, be, there could be all kinds of ways that Iranian government could change, but someday it will change and at some point it might be possible um, to carry out a judicial reform, it might be possible to carry out some economic reforms. And so my idea was that we would gather together really all the best people, the best experts on these subjects, and have them start thinking, projecting into the future. Um, we did one conference on economics. The second one has been about uh, judicial reform and transitional justice. You know, these are two things that would come up immediately um, if there was any kind of tra any kind of change. One would be. Um, what do we do with the court system, which has been so, um, so, so thoroughly molded by the Islamic Republic? And the second question would be, what do we do with people who've committed crimes, what do we, uh, crimes against humanity, and what do we do with the victims? How do we create some kind of justice or reconciliation? And those were the topics of this conference, and I thought, um, I thought it was very useful. Uh, we, we brought in some outsiders, some people from South Africa, from Morocco, from uh, Latin America who'd had some experience in these kinds of situations who could who could reflect on them and you know share their experiences and and there you know we don't come up with an agenda but we come up with you know a set of questions that now we know need to be answered <laughs>